game really unfolded in a in a, a fashion that I expected. Our, our wide flank play was very good. Uh, we looked bright and purposeful from dead ball situations. And in the first half, I felt as though we, we deserved to go in a goal to the good. Second half was a was a slightly different picture. They, I thought, started to deal with our wider threat better. They sort of changed shape a little bit. And the game looked like it was really petering out to a, a nil-nil draw. Um, there were some substitutions, as you saw, to try and just jumpstart something more exciting and positive. And my hope is in the end it worked because Rapapa out wide does a wonderful job 1v1 against their fullback, back the corner, and uh, you know, the rest, you know. So de delighted we've got a lot of players out. Um, you know, I felt as though there were times we missed Lebo's technical ability and creativity. Daniel and Cameron are arguably the, the best forwards at USL level. Um, and of course, you know, we're, we're missing Captain and, uh, and Derek. So they're, they're, they're big players to try and continually keep filling those cracks. And I, I thought the, the group did a wonderful job tonight. To, to get a victory out of what looked like it was really going to be a draw. Walk us through the the set piece at the very end there that Jimmy ended up scoring on. Was it? It seemed like a pretty run of the mill play. You guys didn't really do anything special. Yeah, there was nothing. There was nothing out of the ordinary. It wasn't really a, a, a you know training ground movement. Uh, JD's delivery to the back post looked like it caught them a little bit by surprise. Um, you know, we have some good targets in there, some big bodies, and in the end, one of them counted. Um, seen it multiple times where teams break the deadlock or when they're going in such a, a tight affair with a set piece, and that was obviously the case. It felt like you were really looking to get the ball to wide areas with Allen and Carlton and even, even Darnell. How did you feel like um, the midfield did with with Lebo out, um, and were, were you happy with the chance creation from well, more the, central areas? The first period, they they played in a in a shape and a format that we might have expected. They've had some joy, and they've been in a good run. It it offers wide areas as a, as a bit of an outlet or a staging ground for attacks. Uh, we'd you know we've worked and looked at trying to take advantage of that in the first period. I thought we did that well. Well, and looked bright. Got in some really good positions, caused the fullback a lot of problems. Likewise, Colton on the far side. Final ball, final shot, effort. Wasn't quite where we probably would have liked it. And I, I felt one of the biggest issues, given the changing dynamic of the shape of the team, was when we did get into some good spots not enough players breaking into the penalty area, not enough targets. And you know, Kenny and Bolu are very similar guys in, uh, in, in more of a foundational role in that midfield. He did a great job, but you, you, you lack that extra body getting higher up the field, but that's a consequence of players being out. And they did a wonderful job, the pair of them, and in the end it was enough. And that's what we needed, we needed it to be enough. This is Matt's 100th career shutout. Obviously, I think it probably goes without saying how important he has been to this team in his first two years, but what did you think of his performance and what has kind of his presence meant to you guys? Well, I think the word there is presence that he gives the group. Um, with his experience and physical stature and vocality back there, he, I think he's, if you look back at his career and what he's achieved, he's one of the top goalkeepers, or one of the best goalkeepers I've seen in, in the US in my time. Um, the ability for him to continually move his career on and the amount of games that he's played, I think he's testimony to the professional nature of his, his, the world that he works in. Um, tonight's performance probably wasn't one of his most outstanding. Um, he did what he needed to. He made a couple of important interceptions and saves. 
and when called upon, he did what he does and has done for a hundred times before that. He kept the beach in. Any other questions? You just feel like you kind of have a knack for that last minute or last, oh. you know, end winner here Let at First Tennessee? It does nothing for my stress levels. Um, the, you know, the inner anguish that you feel on the touchline. The delight and the, um, the, the sheer exhilaration of scoring that late, knowing that you've you pretty much won the game, is, is amazing. But I had 90 odd minutes of, of tension and turmoil sitting on that bench. You know, we, we've got five games at home here. We want to keep the pressure on the top groups. We still feel that there's a, an outside chance of the Eastern Conference title. To, to keep in that race, you are win. We have to keep the pressure on. It's not in our hands now. But if we don't keep the pressure on, then the teams above us go into their games knowing that the world's uh, a, a much more comfortable environment to work in. Birmingham are now going to go to Indy, or sorry, they're going to be at home to Indianapolis on Friday. As far as I can tell, they've got to win that game. Birmingham have been on a terrific run, they've now lost two on the spin. I can't believe anyone in that group's going to want to lose the game. So now all of a sudden, there's a little bit more edge, I believe, in the Birmingham side. I would, looking at their group, they're a good side, they've, they've moved on. Um, speaking to their manager before the game, you know, he's seen some real positives and understandably in the run they've been in. So this is a good result tonight with players out. It wasn't an easy game, it never was gonna be. Um, I'm sure they were aware they had two very, very tough games. They've got to win the next one. And if they can, then tonight's result will be worth even more. You have another tough match this weekend against a really good Pittsburgh team. Uh, can you take anything from this match to build on, apart from the three points? Yeah, of course. Uh, there, there were some good performances. Um, the first half for me was the, the, the more positive display. Um, we'll have some players coming back at the weekend. Daniel was at 20 minutes tonight, which is uh, a, a nice step forward. Um, I would hope that Levo and uh, Derek are a step closer. And, you know, slowly but surely, I think we start to piece together a, a group that looks like a championship winning team. Now, you know, is that an Eastern Conference winning team? Maybe. But I certainly want to be in as good a position as I can be to, to have a very decent run in the, in the postseason. Um, the Pittsburgh team we've got coming in as always under Bob Lilly, are extremely difficult to play against. They're doing a terrific job, they're in a great spot, but what we know is if we can take care of them, however that comes about, then we do ourselves uh, another massive favour in the step towards uh, a conference title possibly and top four spot.